Hey everybody, my name is Jonathan. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, wifey took the baby out for a walk, so I got a couple minutes. I'm going to open up some boxes from CGC that I have here sitting, uh, waiting to be open. I got to get these things open, get the pictures taken, put them up on eBay. I'm trying to move my inventory. Uh, if you've never been here before, I'm a COVID-born collector. That's what I call myself. Came back in 2019. Uh, let's get the camera on. Let's get these boxes open. So I came back into the hobby in 2019. Uh, I kind of went all in. Kind of went kind of ridiculous with my savings. And just, pfft, I was spent heavy, spent hard, spent fast. And, you know, I made some money, had some good times. But now I also am stuck with some inventory because as I made money, I bought more stuff. As I made money, I bought more stuff, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so, oh, I love, I love me some fresh CGC stuff. So anyways, so I'm a COVID-born collector. So that also means that I am extremely new to all these collectibles. Uh, I used to do it when I was a kid, but I'm an old man now, so it's been a while. So I, I have a lot to learn and I try to learn as much as I can. I try to share everything that I, I see on this channel. I try to share everything I see with everybody uh, on this channel. Let's see here, I paid $95 for this. It looks like it was pressed and a signature. That's what, that's what I believe this is. This should be a yellow label pressed book. That's what I'm, because of the $95 mark, that's what I'm assuming. Um, so yeah, if you have questions about starting your own business, as far as collectible goes, collectibles, eBay store, stuff like that, feel free to let me know. If you have your questions about grading comic books, getting those accounts set up and anything like that, feel free to let me know and I'll try to get in touch with you. Um, I will be doing another giveaway at 500 subscribers. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is, but I want to make sure that the winner gets to choose what the prize is so i'll have a couple options i'm thinking i'll do a sealed box of cards of some kind maybe a sport and a magic the gathering uh maybe a comic book maybe some marvel sport uh, like marvel uh, trading cards i don't know i don't know but uh there will be something at 500 so thank you so much for your support i do appreciate you very much all right let's get oh my goodness Brand new CGC. What is this? The front or the back? This looks like that's the back. That was an M&M's uh, ad. All right, so this is the top. So the grade should be right here. Bam. Nine six. Nine, oh, I remember this one. Yeah, I was like, I don't think it's gonna get a nine eight. Nine six. That's fine. It's not a nine eight. So I mean, you're gonna lose that premium. Uh, and you know what? I, I knew, that's why I pressed it because I was like, oh, it's probably not going to get the 9.8. So I tried with the pressing. There was probably too much spine crack or something on here. But this, the reason I got this great is because this was selling like crazy. I sold a 9.8 not signed for, I think I got like 20 bucks profit off of it. And I was like, you know what? I got, I got another decent copy. I'm going to get it signed. Uh, the reason I love this cover, though, is because Venom has the Spider-Man uniform on, the Spider-Man costume on, suit, whatever you want to call it. So it's the 60-year anniversary of Spider-Man issue. You see how it says 60 right here? That's what that is. It's the 60 anniversary um, issue variant cover for Venom number 7. And so I got the custom label up here. I got the Venom. But he's actually wearing the Spider-Man suit. And I loved it. And I was like, this is a beautiful freaking cover. I like it. So that's why I got it graded. Uh, yeah, everybody wishes every single comic book they can open up is a 9.8. I actually have a pretty good ratio of comic books that when I submit, they, they get 9.8s. Uh, but even, even I can't be uh, above, you know, it's beyond report, uh, reproach, reproach. What do they call it? Beyond... I don't even know the term that I'm trying to think of. Beyond, well, anyways, you can't be perfect all the time. 9.6, I'll take it. I like that cover. Even if I don't sell it, I'm proud to own it. All right, let's see this. Ooh, this is a J. Scott Campbell box. Oh, oh, oh man, 205 bucks for this. So 90 bucks for each book. So that's the signature. And then... $20 shipping and handling, and $5, $5 additional handling. So $205 for these. 
Jay Scott Campbell's. Damn it. Love it. Love it. Oh, I can actually see the corner of the top right here, but is that the front or is that the back? So this is the back. So we'll do it like this. So the grade should be over here. Um, all these things will end up being on sale on my eBay account. Uh, if you have, again, if you have any questions about how to start all that, feel free to reach out to me. I don't mind helping anybody uh, get their feet start, get their feet on the ground, and get started. Um, I'm my whole purpose for why I buy things. Everything I buy, I'm just trying to give out like random helpful hints on like how to like stay in control during your pursuit of whatever you're doing collecting investing flipping whatever you're doing so everything that i own except for like two things is always for sale and i'm always looking for five to ten percent i mean really it's five to seven but ten percent is always like the goal like the the dream goal for everything i buy so when you look at these books i got two of them here i'm into them for 205 dollars so plus materials and everything let's call it 210 for shipping, let's call it let's call it two twenty. I'm in, into so each one of these one hundred and ten bucks. So ten percent of one hundred and ten bucks is eleven bucks. So if I can sell these net one twenty one, I'm in the money, and I'm good to go. And I have no drama. I have no hesitation. Boom, pull the trigger. I'm out. So that's always the goal. So I, I think a lot of people get wrapped up in the, oh my God, you spent $200 on this. You're going to have to make like $300. No, no, I don't. I have to make 111 bucks because, or 121 because I spent 110, right? Like, so it really helps me and maybe that'll help you mentally focus on, on why you're doing things. These books, let's see what they look like. J. Scott Campbell, amazing artist. See the grade, see the book. Do you think I can get $121 for it? Yeah, I spent a bunch of money on it. But my whole goal is to net 10% more, 5 to 10% more, with, with the ideal being at least 10%. Let's see what we got. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Very nice. We got the Red Sonia, Volume 4, Number 2. This is the black and white variant. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's not her hair is obviously red, but he signed it with the red pin all the way along the sword. That's amazing. J. Scott Campbell. Red Sonia. Oh, let's let's do the other one before I uh, ruin it anyways by by uh, picking this book up. Let's see. Bam. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's freaking cool, man. Two 9.8s signed by J. Scott Campbell. Uh, variant cover B on both of them looks really nice next to each other too on display i know it's hard for me to get it into the camera yeah man that is so cool dude so freaking cool so there you go there's the uh volume four number one j sky campbell red sonia signed with red ink it's the way it's supposed to be Number two. So I got the number one, number two right there, nine eights. So uh, feel free to look up and do the mo your own market research. Do you think I can net $121 for this? I think so. Uh, does that mean I'm going to? No. No, it doesn't. As a COVID-born collector, I take losses. I'm not perfect at all. I have taken plenty of losses. The key is to try to lose less than you win. That's all it is. That's all it is. Keeping it simple. Those books are amazing. My wife will never let me keep those forever because ladies in a bikini. All right. That's another uh, another thing you got to think about, right? <laughs> it's not so much, did I get the grade? It's, can I display that in my home with a newborn daughter and my wife not get pissed off at me? So if the answer is no, you're probably going to have to sell it. All right, this is the back. All right, CGC box number three. This is my last box that I have to open. I'll get these all. Uh, I'll get some photos of these and put them up on eBay as soon as I possibly can. I still have like 30 other books I still have to post. All right, let's see what we got. Bam. 
That is the back. I thought the other side was the back. Oh. Well, what the hell? Uh, bam! Oh, a 9.6. Another J. Scott Campbell. Uh, didn't get this one signed. So this is Mary Jane and Black Cat. This is the number one. 9.6, not great. This is a book that was made in mass production. So lucky to get my money back off of this. But still a great book. Uh, good, beautiful cover. Good old freaking J. Scott Campbell. What's the one on the back? Oh, there it is. We got the Doctor Strange, the new series that came out. Strange number one. Uh, beautiful J. Scott Campbell cover, 9.8. Absolutely amazing. This one I should have definitely gotten signed. That would have been cool if he did it in purple or something. Anyways, those are my CGC box openings. I paid, let's see, for these last two, uh, $43.20 total, including shipping and everything. So, you know, with my own materials when I shipped it out, plus my own shipping costs when I shipped it out. Actually, I paid for shipping on the way back, too. So let's say I'm into these two for uh, $60 each. The most, probably fifty dollars each. Actually, actually, shipping is getting more expensive. I wouldn't be surprised if it's sixty dollars each. So, will I get my money back for these? Maybe, maybe not. Um, I am not submitting anymore to CGC, and I won't be probably until twenty twenty four. I might not submit again for a very long time. I believe that. I believe that the economy is going going to hell in a handbasket type of thing. So if you're out there, if you think your job has the potential of being like you have the potential of being laid off or something, I would just kind of calm down what you're collecting personally. Um, stay focused on what matters, family. Uh, if you don't have family, that's fine. If, if you want to just focus on yourself and just like get those bills paid you know, make sure you got um, enough of a rainy day fund to cover your freaking deductibles if the car breaks down in the middle of next year and you just lost your job type of thing. Make sure you got health insurance. Number one reason for bankruptcies in America is health insurance related bills. Take care, everybody. I uh, wish you nothing but the best. If you have questions on the collectible business, uh, I am not a subject matter expert, but I'm more than happy to try to help you out and figure out how to do things. Take care, everybody.